good evening friends we will start with today's session we are discussing regarding the concluding part of the organ of medicine and we have finished up with aphorism number 287 yesterday we have finished two basic aphorisms 286 and 287 where hanuman have uh, explained about the supportive measures which were used in allopathy as well as which can be used in homeopathy with the help of law of similars the electricity and magnet both energies we can utilize as a remedy when we prove it on the healthy human beings if we get the detail proving of it we can use it many times but still the detail proving is not at completely available for those remedies but still electric electricitas is given in allen's keynotes in detail at the end <clears throat> Mag magnetic uh, remedies which are pre prepared from bag magnet there are three types of remedies which we have discussed the magnet is polyamber then second which is prepared from the whole magnet then from the north pole there is a magnetic polis articus and from the south pole it is a magnetic polus australis these are three remedies which are proved and which uh, short mat remedica is available with us we can use on the basis of symptom similarity and we can find the results but in the when you apply it in the form of a palliation they are harmful so the aspect of applying those are different in allopathic system of medicine as an auxiliary measure they ask the patients to go for electric stimulation and that stimulation works only for palliative purpose never works as a curative and same is true when magnet is used as it is in the uh, in relieving the pain the palliate as a palliative factor so that's all we have discussed in yesterday session today we'll going to learn one more aspect which hanuman have understood and explained called by him either two names mesmerism or which is also called as animal magnetic when i read all those things i i thought that hanuman would have visited india before writing this book because this is the method which is very commonly followed in india so when you read that then you will understand that this has been done for you also in when you were when you were a child so mesmerism is as good as nothing but the in marathi we can call it dushta kadne in hindi it is called as nazar utarna all those things all those methods those are nothing but the work methods which works on the principle of mesmerism only the scientific terminologies are used and that's why it is labeled and explained over there by the name of mesmerism or animal magnetism but which is the ancient method which is followed in india uh, since long time so we'll start with this aphorism number 288 will run learn what he wants to say over there i find it yet necessary to allude here to animal magnetism as it is termed or rather mesmerism as it should be called in deference to the mesmer its first founder which differs so much in its nature from other therapeutic agents so he this is animal magnetism which is also labeled by the mesmerism because mesmer was the first who who started the, using this over there in the in those country this curative force often so stupidly denied and disdained disdained manje tiraskar karne stupidly denied murkha panane nakaron takne so what is this 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 curative force often so stupidly denied and disdained for a century acts in different ways so hanuman also explains that it acts it acts and it acts curatively this is what he explains over there the word which he has used this curative force and this is the force this is a dynamic force which works so this curative force often so stupidly denied and disdained for century acts in different ways it is a marvelous priceless gift of the god to mankind by means of which the strong will of a well intentioned person upon a sick person sick one by contact or even without this and even at some distance can bring the vital energy of the healthy mesmerizer 
entered with this power into another person dynamically. Just as one of the poles of powerful magnetic rod upon bar of steel. So here, the question of energy transmission is there. Either by touch or without touch. The person who utilizes this energy should have a positive force. Should have a positive energy inside. And that positive energy works either by contact or either without contact. But it works on the person who is sick one, where the negative energy is there, where the vital force is in a negative state, where the vital force is disturbed. So the person who gives the mesmerism or animal magnetism is full of positive energy. His will is good. The intention is good. And it works on another person. It definitely happens. You have observed it many times. Even I have observed it many times when I have seen that this has been used everywhere in India. The old person in our house used to do it. They used to do it by many means. Someone uses the chapel. Someone uses the broom. And they used to use, the, they used to make a pass from above downward. The direction is always from above downwards. Because it should run in that way. The disturbed vital force inside the body should come again into the harmony and it should work. And it works. Because it is not like that a young person do a mesmerism of an older one. It is not like that. The person who carries that quality the person who is spiritually strong and having a strong positive force, positive energy inside him, is the person who is going to work directly over there. So this is the method which is very commonly followed in our religion, our Indian culture. This is what is a mesmerism. What he further says about the mesmerism, just see what he is. It acts in part by replacing the sick whose vital force within the organism is deficient here and there. In part also, in other parts where the vital force has accumulated too much and keep up irritating nervous disorders, it turns it aside, diminishes and distributes it equally and in general extinguishes the morbid condition of the life principle of the patient and substitutes in its place the normal of the mesmerist acting powerfully upon him. For instance, old ulcers, amaurosis, paralysis of the single organs, and so forth. So he is giving multiple examples how it works. And it works even at the pathological level. It works. Because here the question is that the vital force is in a dis disturbed phase. You have to bring it again into a normal, in, into a harmony. You, you are not able to watch that because it is a dynamic. When things are dynamic, you cannot locate. But on the basis of cause and effect, you think, yes, it is disturbed because the expression of the disease is always there. When you use that positive energy from a mesmerizer, whose qualities animal have mentioned in the foot, that footnote that we'll discuss later, then that fellow who is having that strong will and strong energy, when put a pass right from the top to the head, this disturbed vital energy again gets accumulated and spreads in a proper manner. It comes into a harmony. And because of which the disturbed vitality once gets settled, whatever the expression of the disease which is there, that gets healed, that gets cured. So this is uh, this this thing is this thing definitely used to work, but the mesmerizer should be strong one, which who should carry the energy. I will share one one in, example, good example question which was asked to me. I think I have shared or not. I could not know um, recollect that I have shared that example with you all of you. But I will again share that example. Many rapid apparent cures performed in all ages by mesmerizers endowed with great natural power belong to this class. The effect of communicated human power upon the whole human organism was most brilliantly shown 
इन रिसर्सिटेशन रिसर्सिटेशन म्हणजे एखाद्यातली एनर्जी लॉस झालेली असते त्याला परत जिवंत करणं त्याच्यात अॅनिमेशन देणं इन द रिसर्सिटेशन ऑफ द पर्सन हु हॅड लेन सम टाईम अपरेंटली डेड बाय द मोस्ट पॉवरफुल सिम्पॅथेटिक विल ऑफ अ मॅन इन द फुल व्हिगर ऑफ व्हायटल एनर्जी अँड धीस काइंड ऑफ रिसरेक्शन रिसरेक्शन म्हणजे पुनरुद्धार एखाद्या गोष्टीला पुन्हा जिवंत करणे पुन्हा त्याचा उद्धार करणे रिसरेक्शन हिस्ट्री रेकॉर्ड मेनी अनडिनायबल एक्झाम्पल्स अँड ही एक्सप्लेन्स हॅनेमन एक्सप्लेन्स दॅट मेनी एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ सच थिंग्स आय हॅव सीन अँड इवन आय हॅव सीन ऑल दोज थिंग्स वन ऑफ द जपॅनीज मेथड कॉल्ड एज अ रेकी इज ऑल्सो वर्क ऑन द सेम thing so there are many more methods named differently in different countries but many people used to follow you and it works it works because the person who used to do it have that quality have that quality to remove the disorder over there and that's why it works so hanuman when talks and writes about the things he never talks and writes without knowing it unless and until he he observed he carefully observed he sees and then and then only he writes over there so it has definitely a meaning what he further says if the mesmerizing person of either sex capable of same time of the same time a good natured enthusiasm even its degeneration into a bigotry bigotry manje hatwadi bana obstinism फॅन्टॅसिझम फॅन्टॅसिझमचा अर्थ एखाद्या गोष्टीमध्ये असलेला फाजील उत्साह धर्मांधता मिस्टिसिझम मिस्टिसिझम म्हणजे एखाद्या गुड गोष्टीबद्दल असलेला वाद गुडवाद ऑर फिलॉन्थ्रॉपिक ड्रीम विल बी एम्पॉवर्ड ऑल द मोर विथ धिस फिलॉन्थ्रॉपिक सेल्फ सॅक्रिफायसिंग परफॉर्मन्स टू डिरेक्ट एक्सक्लुझिवली द पॉवर ऑफ हिज कमांडिंग गुड गुड विल टू द रेसिपियंट रिक्वायरिंग हिज हेल्थ and at the same time concentrate these he may at times perform apparent miracles and many times such types of miracles happen i have seen i have read many examples and those examples were not of the persons who, um, who um, the, uh, those examples which i have seen are the per- people who are absolutely trustworthy and truthful i have seen i have read one philosophy book um if you know the vimala thakar a great philosopher great writer also and she has devoted her whole life to find it out the uh, not, uh, to know the man she never married she she was absolutely a different woman and she remained alone single she used to remain in bondage and she developed she she was just understanding what is human why human bonds and everything so she was the person who was um, very much interested in learning all those things uh, to which we can label by the name of um, mysticism or fantasticism um there was a one person i forgot his name vishwa i forgot his name just i cannot recall it uh, the fellow who is called to be a a man who who have understood the human life uh, when i recollect i will let you know once he was in india and she asked his appointment he was the person who expected who 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 knows or who understood the human philosophy human knowledge and when he came from right from america to india she took her appointment to discuss some question she was the person who had a tumor inside the ear the people have asked her to go for operation but they told that once you operate 
you you uh, we never guarantee you that you get the hearing again and that's why she never um, done the surgery she was taking ayurvedic medicine but pain was so severe that it was not bearable but she was overlooking that because she wants to learn many things so she met him when she met him she went to his house in delhi she rang the bell he entered uh, he, he opened the door and when he see her he said sorry vimla i forgot that you, your appointment is there but just it doesn't matter you sit over here ask me your questions i am cooking for myself and he he was the person who used to remain alone in his life so he was cooking and she was asking her questions and uh, as asking him questions and he used to answer her questions and this discussion was going on this fellow was having a healing hand what has happened he doesn't know she doesn't know all of a sudden while cooking he just stood up and go went near her and he came the hand over her head what has happened it has been written by her in her books she said i don't know what has happened something happened inside my body whole body there is as if some something is entering inside my body and after a minute the pain which was there in my ear was completely disappeared then she went to the same doctor he performed the scans he performed the every report and it was found normal so this is this is a big, big example what what has happened it is nothing but the mesmerism which work it is the animal magnetism which work where the person who was having full of spiritual energy just kept a hand over her, her head and transmitted it in directly and removed the disorder this is what is called as an animal magnetism which is also which was also happened in case of swami vivekananda he was denying many things when he reached towards the ramkrishna paramahams when he reached towards the ram krishna paramahams and they were chatting he was asking many questions and ram krishna paramahams were answering him and after some time he put hand over the swami vivekananda's head because he was not accepting there is a god he denies the god earlier and once he put hand over the swami vivekananda said he he just forgot who he is he got that what he was seeking for that is the first incidence when he understood yes god is there what is this this is again same thing mesmerism the energy is transformed from the person who has that energy towards the next person there are many more examples which we can see with naked eyes and it happens it works and this is what is called as a animal magnetism or mesmerism when i was attending nor when i was there with the kakasai muski homeopathic medical college i used to go every thursday when i started it in 2003 mm. there was first two years i was unofficially going and i was taking the guest lecturers lecture every thursday at between 2 to 4 two hours were given to me and topic is just homeopathy it is not morgana it is not madra medica it is not repertory of pharmacy it is just homeopathy and all students fourth year third year interns and teachers they used to attend lectures at that time one day before entering the classroom 
one one student asked me one question sir there is one question in my mind i want to ask i said say what what is it sir can you believe in ghost that was the question put by him i said why 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 are you asking this question to me and then he explained the example that we are from a educated family one of our family member she was around 18 19 years all of us start sudden started behaving irrelevantly like a mad so this has happened to two years back to three years back so we took her to the allopathic doctor he examined he said it is a big depression then he started giving medicine to herself and after starting those medicines she was just sleeping she was just sleeping day and night whenever she comes out of sleep either she used to take food and again goes to sleep so nearly about one year she was in the house without knowing anyone that she is in the house because she was day and night sleeping with those pills and because of sleep she she was not find not behaving like earlier was so we stopped giving her medicine and when we stopped giving her medicine she again went into the same phenomenon she started behaving behaving in a irrelevant manner she used to run on the streets removing the clothes and all those things used to happen so we took her to ayurvedic doctor who have worked for one another year without any result then we took her to the homeopath he also had given medicine for two three months without any result all of our relatives they used to call tell her tell us that she has a problem of a ghost you must take her towards the proper man otherwise she will not get cured but we were educated and that's why we never believed that there such a thing is there but ultimately nothing was working so one day they came and we took her to one place in gujarat towards one man called as sadhu he asked her to sit over there he said that she is suffering from ghost and he put some mantras over her and the process was going on nearly about half an hour and after half an hour she she was she when she came out she was absolutely a normal girl as if nothing has happened in her life and she recovered completely so my question is sir can you believe in ghost so the question was very good and i have answered this question for another hour in the classroom i asked him that instead of answering you put the same question in the class we'll discuss and i will tell you what is what has happened this is what is nothing but the we have to understand what is mesmerism see here the problem is dynamic allopathy never cures it because the thing was dynamic material medicine never cures the dynamic dynamic disorder ayurvedic never work in the in her case because again the same answer because ayurvedic medicine is also not a medicine which which is dynamic homeopathic medicine should act because it is dynamic but it is conditioned unless and until it is a perfect similimum it will not going to work there should be a similimum that is the condition second it should be in proper potency so those are the criteria which are fulfilled then and then homeopathic medicine works because we call it as a disturbed vital force because of which she is having the disease we label it by the name of vital force that sadhu has labeled it by the name of bhut ghost names are different the things are same problem is same only things i give a different name another person give it a different name but the 
why it worked it worked because of the person who was having that spiritual energy as well as the mantras when which are put in a proper manner liberates the energy because those are having very high power frequencies over there which works directly where there is no condition required only condition is that the person who applies it should have that and that's why it worked on her case or in her case and she came out the disturbed vital force which was there again regained and goes into the state of health because of direct effect over there is nothing but the mesmerism. And that's why Hanuman says that many miraculous cures can happen with the help of this method. And he has mentioned about it over there. So there are many more examples are there. There is one footnote where he explains how what is the exact, uh, what are the different qualities which should be there in the mesmerizer. Those we will discuss in tomorrow's session because that those there is a footnote and one more aphorism where, which is mentioned by him that it can cause an aggravation also. It can work, uh, work as a homeopathic remedy and can produce aggravation. So how to tackle, what to do, all those things, all pros and cons which he has discussed over there in Lane. So this is what if nothing but called as the animal magnetism or mesmerism, uh, one must go through it, read it again so that you can understand. And nothing is just um, what you say, uh, unscientific. This is what a science is there. Behind that, it is a science which is dynamic. Material science never accepts all those things. But one has to understand because it is best evidence-based as well as it depends on, uh, works on the basis of cause and effect. So there are many more things regarding the homeopathy. When we start learning homeopathy, we have to learn all those dynamic entities which are necessary to be understood. So that's all for today. Any query is there, we can definitely discuss and we'll have a chat. Otherwise, we'll conclude today's session and we'll meet tomorrow, not tomorrow, we'll meet on Monday evening because tomorrow is Saturday not possible we'll meet directly on Monday any queries questions are there yes definitely we'll have a chat so we'll conclude today's session and we'll meet on Monday thank you thanks everyone